Hi everyone, so this is going to be a uh, elf haul, eyes, lips, face, makeup. Um, I placed an order with them, I think it was last week or something. Um, anyway, I've received my package and I just thought I'd do a video just to show you what I picked up. I really, really love watching elf videos anyway. Um, because it is online, well it is in the UK anyway, I don't think any stores in the UK actually sell elf. I know in America places like Target and things stock it. But for us here in the UK, um, it is just an online site, which is pretty hard because you can't see the colours before you order them. Hence why I'm making this video just to give you a quick idea. Um, and like I say, I love watching elf videos as well because when people do them and they show the colours and they swatch them and things, I get an idea of what I want to order. So I find these videos quite helpful. So that's why I've decided to do this one. So I'm just going to dive straight in because I have got quite a lot of products here. So I'll just show you what I bought. Um, just a side note as well, I'm not going to be swatching in this video. What I'm going to do, I'm going to split them up into sections on my blog. So I'll leave the link for my blog down below. And if you want to see any swatches or anything of any of these products, if you just click that link, it'll take you to my blog. And like I say, once I've got the posts up, you'll be able to see swatches and everything on there. Um, just because the video would be ridiculously long if I swatched everything in it now. So like I say, swatches and things will all be on my blog. So anyway, let's get into what I bought. So the first thing is this e.l.f. lipstick and this is just from their regular line. And this is in the colour, I don't know how well you'll be able to see. It's in Classy. This is kind of meant to be the little colour swatch. But that colour swatch is peach. And look at the lipstick, it is pink. So them swatches just do not go at all. But anyway, I picked that lipstick up. I also picked another one of their lipsticks up. This is in the colour Seductive. This looks like a really nice ready pink again. Next, I picked up Gypsy, which is kind of a darker colour. It's like a ready purpley colour. Like I say, I can't really... I can't tell too much because they're still in the packaging, but I'm not going to open them on this video. I will be doing blog posts on them. So I got that. Next up, I got a small tapered brush, and this is from the Elf, Elf Studio line. I absolutely love Elf Studio brushes. Um, I wanted to get loads more. I have got a few already, and I absolutely love them. They're some of my favourite brushes. But seriously, like the good stuff on the UK website is always sold out so I didn't really manage to pick up as many brushes as what I wanted but I managed to get that one Um, I picked up a foundation brush just from the normal line I'm not going to use this for makeup what I'm going to use this for is face mask and um, just to pop face mask on so it's a really nice dense thick brush so that should be great for applying like clay masks and things so that's what I got that for Next I got e.l.f. Brightening Eye Colour and this is in the shade Ocean Dreams and it comes with four different colours, obviously a little applicator which I never use. But I've got some more of these as well in more neutral shades and I love them, the pigmentation's great on them as well so I thought I'd pick some more up. So I got that one, like I say in Ocean Dreams, I picked up another one in Teal Dreams. I did get some more as well, another one in silver lining and I thought I got another one but never mind oh yeah I did another one in day tonight and I looked up swatches of all of these before I ordered them just to get an idea of what kind of shades and colours I will be getting so I got that one as well next I picked up two clarifying pressed powders again these are just from the regular line these are a repurchase for me I've completely used my other one up so I got another two of these and these are both in the shade honey and um, this is a fantastic powder Um, I think it's only like £1.50 or something but it's a great great powder and I love it so I'll probably always repurchase that next I got again from the regular line is just an eyeshadow brush um, and these are great just for packing colour on your eyes and I love them, I've took them out of the package, I've felt them, I think they're really really good quality um, so I think I got a couple of these as well uh, I think I did anyway, so that's that 
Next, I just picked up some replacement eyelash curler pads. I've got the eyelash curler, I've had it for a while, and I've seen these on the website, and I think these are pretty new, so I just picked those up. From the studio line, I got the contouring brush and bronze and cream, and this is in the shade Scent Lucia. Um, I'll just quickly open this for you to give you a look. I've heard a lot of great things about this one. Um, so I thought I'd just pick it up and just give it a try. So that's what it looks like. It has got a little bit sweating on there, you can see. But obviously that's your shades and your colours of your blush and your bronzer. Um, and I really like the look of it. I'm a little bit wary of cream products. I think I need to practice with them a little bit more. But like I say, for the price of e.l.f., I mean, you can afford to buy something just to practice with. But I've heard great reviews and it's supposed to be a really, really good product. So I'm glad I picked that one up. Um, next I got an e.l.f. Studio lip stain. And this is in the shade Birthday Suit. Now I remember when e.l.f. first came out and I've seen tons of reviews on this actual product called Birthday Suit. Um, but I can never, ever remember it being this colour. This colour that it's shown up on camera is pretty true to colour. It's actually a bright, bright Barbie pink. I always thought when I've seen swatches of it before that it was kind of a peachy nude colour. I could be wrong, but I've heard a few things about e.l.f. that somebody's had a lipstick one time and it worked out to be their favourite Holy Grail product. So they've went and ordered it again and when they've ordered it again it's come in a completely different shade. Um, so I don't know if elf's consistent with the shades or if you do order them and they do come different every time i don't know but either way i do really like this color it's just i can never ever remember it being a bright barbie pink but nevertheless i love it anyway next i got um so next i picked up some of the matte lip colors and i got four of them I got them in praline, natural, tea rose and nearly nude. Now I do already have one of these um, matte lip colours. I've got it in the colour coral and I absolutely love it. The pigmentation's fantastic. The texture, the consistency of it is absolutely brilliant. It glides on your lips, it doesn't pull or tug. It feels super, super smooth and it just goes on like butter. So I did order four more colours in those and I'm over the moon with them. That was those. Next, I picked up three eyeliners from their basic range. Um, these are the shimmer pencils, so I got three. I got them in, this one's Plum Passion. This one is Grassy Green and this one is Twinkle Teal. I just thought they'd be really nice just for a pop of colour on the eyes, like either in the waterline or just a little bit smudged underneath. And the, I like these because they come with the sharpener built in as well. I just think they're really, really nice. So I got those. Um, there's the other eyeshadow brush that I was saying I got. I got an e.l.f. Studio Concealer Brush. Um, I didn't get this for concealer, I actually got this for cream shadows, like I have a lot of the Maybelline colour tattoos and I thought this would be fab to apply them to the eyes, so I picked that one up. Next I got the e.l.f. Studio Complexion Brush, which I do have this one already, but I love it so much I thought I'd order a backup, so that's that. Next, I ordered this for my mum, um, and it's just a professional total face brush, but it's from the basic line. Um, I've took this out of the package and I felt it and I don't like it at all. These bristles, they just feel so scratchy and it's just, it's not really, I mean it's for the price but it's not really a nice brush I don't think. It's like I say it's scratchy and it's just, it's not that good. So that was that. Next I picked up a mineral lip gloss and this is in the shade pageant princess i'll open it it's just kind of a really nice pinky shade but it, it's kind of shot through with gold so it's a pinky goldy color and i love the packaging on these as well it's just really really nice looks really basic but at the same time it's really really nice so like i say that's the mineral lip gloss in pageant princess next i got an elf contour brush and this is from the mineral line as well and um, i like these brushes just for 
blending in your crease and things or doing your outer corner of your eye. So I picked that one up and it's quite nice and um, does feel really, really soft. It's the first ever mineral brush that I've gotten from them, but so far I do really like it. Next I got three of their Tone Correcting Concealers and I did get one of these for my mum as well. Um, I got them in three different shades. I got, this is light beige, this is honey and this is apricot beige. Um, like I say, I will have swatches on my blog of these in the next few days or so. So that's those. Then... I picked up three of the all over cover sticks. Again, some of these are for my mum. I picked them up in three different shades. This is in golden peach and this is, will be really nice for a highlight shade. So I got that one. And these two, I got this one in rosy beige and this one in honey. So that's them. And I do have e.l.f. cover sticks anyway and I, I think that they're really nice. So they are another repurchase for me. Next things I got are the Tinted Moisturiser, again just from the basic line. I picked three of these up all in different shades. I got Rosy Beige, Apricot Beige and Honey. So, And I have had these before as well and I do think they're absolutely fine. Um, some of these are for my mum as well. So that was those. I did pick up another two of the pressed powders again in the same shade honey like I say it's a powder that I use all the time and I'm out of my last one so I actually picked up four of them in total which I'm not sure how I did that but never mind um, I'll probably give one of them to my mum as well um, yeah next thing this is one of their healthy glow bronzing powders now if you can see how dark this is this practically looks black it is so dark it's it honestly it's just unbelievable this is just called matte bronze and i just thought it would be a really nice matte bronze color but it is ridiculously dark so i won't even be opening that one out the pack um next i just picked up two of the hyper shine lip glosses again i've had these before really really love them they're really nice um, great for pairing over a lipstick so I picked up two of these this shade is in Flirt and this shade is in Sugar Plum which is showing up a little bit darker on camera than what it is in real life it's kind of a nice purpley plummy colour and I can't wait, wait to wear that over um, some really nice purpley lipsticks and things so I picked those two up I'm running out of room um, I picked a blush up from the studio line this is in the shade Mellow Mauve Let's quickly take this out and show you. Yeah. And that is the shade of that. Really, really nice. Just to point out one thing as well. Um, whenever I've ordered from e.l.f. before, they've always had the names on the back. Now, I don't know if they've repackaged or what they've done but the stickers that come on the back now have just got a number on which I find absolutely useless I mean it does have the shade written on the box um let me just tuck that in you can see there it's got mellow mauve wrote on but to be honest that is pretty useless because how many of us are actually going to keep our blush in our box like that like seriously I take the packaging off and I want this to fit nice in my collection but if I use all this up and it turned out to be a fantastic product and I wanted to reorder again, I'd turn to the back and just find a number, which is useless because you can't search the website for numbers. It should have, like, the name of the product on the back. So I think what I'm going to have to do is cut this name off here and sellotape it to the back so I know exactly which product it is. So that's my only gripe about e.l.f. this time. Um, I don't know why they've done that. It's a bit pointless if you ask me, but whatever. So that was that one. I picked up a mineral lipstick in Natural Nymph. Um, this is a repurchase. I do have one. Um, and I've been wearing it pretty much every day at the minute. Um, I wear Natural Nymph lipstick with an MUA gloss over the top. And it is literally the perfect nude for me. So I picked one of those up just for a backup. I have got another blush. This is in Fuchsia Fusion. Again, I'll just open this one out and give you a quick look. 
and that's that colour. It's a really, really, really nice pinky colour. It's got gold shimmer in, but to be honest, it doesn't really transfer onto the cheeks. Um, but I absolutely love it. It's a fantastic colour. Um, really, really nice. So that's that one. Um, then I picked up the Maximum Coverage Concealer and I got this in the shade Nude. I looked up swatches of this online as well and I thought that Nude would be the best colour for my skin tone so hopefully it does work out for us but I've heard absolute rave reviews about this concealer. It's supposed to be able to cover tattoos, birthmarks, scars, anything. So I'll see how I get on with that one. Um, then I did get another blush. This is in Twinkle Pink. And again, it's just a really, really nice, well, it's called Twinkle Pink, but to me, it looks more peach. Um, I'll open it out for you. So yeah, it is called Twinkle Pink, but I don't know how well you can see that. To me, it looks peach. It looks like a really nice peach with gold shimmer through. Um, yeah, it doesn't look pink at all, so I don't know why they've named it Twinkle Pink. But either way, it's really nice. Oh, and I've just totally messed it up there. Never mind. So that was Twinkle Pink Blush and I thought that I would try one of their new baked blushes. I've heard good things about this as well and I did look up swatches before I ordered and this is in the shade Peachy Cheeky and it just looks really nice. I love anything baked anyway but I actually like the packaging on these. It's got black and then obviously the top's clear and um, you just press it and pop it open and look how gorgeous that is. Really, really nice. Um, and there's just a little swatch. It does look really shimmery on the fingers, but I think once you transfer it to the skin, it won't look shimmery or anything. So I can't wait to use that one. I just think it's really nice and sleek and quite quite a good size for a makeup bag as well. So that's that. Um, I just picked up a set of sharpeners. I actually only ordered this because I've been trying to find a sharpener that will actually fit my... NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencils. I've literally bought about five different sharpeners. I've been into proper stationery shops to buy big fat sharpeners. Um, I think the last sharpener that I bought was something like £4.59 and it just does not even fit the Jumbo Eye Pencils in. So I got this and looking at the hole on the big side, it doesn't look like it's going to fit them either. So if any of you know which kind of sharpener will sharpen the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencils, please comment below and let us know because I've got a few of them and obviously I can't use them because I can't sharpen them. So if you do know which sharpener works, please let us know. Um, oh, This is a mineral lip liner in the shade Peachy. Um, I'll just take this out and give you a quick look if it wants to come out so this is what it looks like it just comes in a black pencil with elf mineral lip liner wrote on this does actually have the shade wrote on on the end which is great um, and it's just a peach lip liner but to be honest I'm really disappointed with this and um, that is all the product that you get in it which is just ridiculous and um, if I hold it to my finger it's just I think it's an absolute rip off so I won't be ordering any more of them elf mineral liners if anything um I would say don't order these order the um the matte lip colors because you seriously get a ton of product in these and you get basically nothing in this so out of everything I would say this is the product that I'm probably most disappointed in because I just feel like I've been ripped off by it a little bit. I mean I know e.l.f. is cheap anyway but obviously you want more lip liner than what you get in there. You're probably going to use that about six times and it'll be gone. Um, so last thing I got is one of these e.l.f. beauty books. This was on sale for £3 so I thought I'd pick it up and I got this in the smoky eye edition. And if I just open it up, it comes with 4812 eyeshadows, a little mirror at the top here, an eyeliner and a little eyeshadow applicator, which I won't use, but never mind. It also comes with a little eye lesson on the side, which is great. But I mean, obviously, you just place your shadows where you want them, where you feel that they look better. But for beginners and things, this is fab because it tells you where to place your eyeshadows and things and how to blend them and things like that. So I thought that was really, really nice as well. So... So that's it. There's nothing else left in the box. So that was my whole e.l.f. order. 
um, like I say, I'm sorry I didn't swatch them in this video, but it would have just been ridiculously long. Um, so if you just keep an eye out on my blog, and I will have swatches up in the next few days or so. Um, if anybody has any questions or anything, or any special requests, if you comment below and... I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. If any of you have done an elf haul lately, um, if you want to leave it as a video response to this, because like I say, I love watching them. So if you have done one, leave it as a video response and I'll be sure to take a look. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I hope you've all enjoyed this. I hope you've gotten a little, a little idea of some shades and colours and things. But like I say, the will be proper swatches on my blog so if you want to take a look at that then that's absolutely fine um and that's it everybody so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye